<laughs> well, welcome back. The other video I did, I don't have a I don't have a way out here of like checking to see if it was messed up, but uh, it appeared it might have cut off not too long afterwards uh, when I basically started it. So I just want to do a quick recap of what I was talking about. I'm on another section of the Deerfield River up near its source. We're not far from the Vermont border. And right now, this is just kind of like class one rapids. All right, so I'm walking out here. I get nice and stable here. As you can, oh good, the blinking light is still there. Okay, just to show you, it's me, all right? Uh, oh, there goes the yellow butterfly. This particular stretch here is not too bad, but it can get dangerous. And the reason I say that is because rivers change. Rivers always don't stay the same. If the water rises up, okay, the conditions here will change. This will go from class one, which is, you know, almost anybody can take a canoe or a kayak or raft down it, up to a three and maybe even a four, where you need to have a little bit of experience in knowing how to handle such a craft with, with that. And to illustrate that point, I want you to look straight across. There's a gigantic log lying on the side. That didn't get there by somebody. That was there by water. Raging floods pulled that tree down and it ended up on that side of the, the river bank. So I just want you guys to understand that, you know, water could be a very powerful force, okay? Just looking around here, all these rocks are rounded, and the reason they're rounded is because of uh, the action of erosion water. So again, you know, this here isn't too bad. You can see it sloping down slightly, but I, uh, not to repeat myself, but just in case the other video didn't work out, above that mountain is a gigantic lake, and, and further up near the Vermont border is a big, big dam. And every so often they let the water out, and you're probably saying, why do they do that? Well, that, those waters actually are used to generate electricity. So much of our electricity in Massachusetts actually comes from on top of that mountain. Okay. I'm kind of familiar with this area because, you know, when I was a teenager, my dad and I used to go, you know, also my mom, we all, the three of us used to go up here camping and fishing. My dad and I would come up here uh, hunting and snowmobiling. In fact, up in those mountains over there, um, you know, there's a lot of snowmobile trails. It's actually kind of a cool and interesting thing. All right. We used to have a lot of fun. But again, in the story of Brian and the river. He and Derek are using a homemade raft to go down a river, something similar to this, but he doesn't know what to expect. And I don't think I'd want to go down a river like this in a homemade log raft. For one thing, you'd be getting hung up on a lot of these uh, stones, all right, stones and boulders. But another thing is you don't know what's around the corner, okay? As this goes around the corner, what kind of con what conditions am I going to run into? Is it going to be, you know, smooth sailing? Or are there going to be some big rapids? Is it going to be flat water? Quick water? Or is it going to be, you know, sweepers? Probably saying, what's a sweeper? Okay. A sweeper is any object that sticks out in the water, especially trees, that you can't get away from. And they sweep you off of the canoe or whatever watercraft you're on. So it's not a good day. Okay, trust me. Uh, and, you know, then you have all kinds of hidden things here and there. You know? So, anyways, uh, we're going to, like I said before, just in case uh, the second video didn't work out, because I noticed that it shut, kind of shut off, and I'm saying, uh-oh. I'm still learning the GoPro thing, so bear with me, guys. All right. So we're going to go further up and talk a little bit more about whitewater. And I might actually do another day out here, but at a different river, which I know has some pretty bad stretches. Okay. So everybody, I want you to take care and we'll see you soon.